Hey guys, this is Zach King doing a quick review here for Zachworks products. I'm going to be checking out the Pro Animator today. And if you go to their website, zaxworks.com, Z A X W E R K S.com, you're going to see um, they've got a lot of cool products. And these are plugins to user interfaces with 3D stuff that you can plug in with Final Cut Pro, uh, After Effects, and also Motion. But I'm going to be showing you Final Cut and how that works and just a quick review on their product. And then I'll do probably one later this week on motion. So those of you who are motion lovers, you know, you'll get your fix there. So let's go to the video generators tab here. Now I've already installed the Pro Animators filter, and I'm just going to grab a color solid. And this is going to be our our base for the effect. Doesn't matter what the color is because this is all going to disappear. If we go over to our effects, we can go to video filters, Zach's works folder, and Pro Animator filters right here drag this on to our color. Now it gives us a message and it says, okay, do you want to edit it in the filters tab? We need to select this color, go to filters, and click this button here that says click to edit Pro Animator. So this is a user interface that works with Final Cut Pro. And so I can either create a new scene from scratch, create 3D primitives, which are spheres or cubes or you know the shapes, we can open an Illustrator file, which will allow us to animate a logo, or create 3D text. I'm going to go ahead and create 3D text. I'm going to turn on my caps, Final Cut King. We can change the font and stuff here as well, but we can do that later. Hit OK. Notice Final Cut's still open, but this is the Pro Animators window. What we can do is, if you see this workspace area at the bottom, we can either select a workspace that's down here listed, but they also have them in tabs here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Animation, which is the first tab you're going to work in and animate this text. So I'm going to select a camera animation here in the timeline area. And I'm going to go down to, let's go to like a, you can test all these out too, they're really cool. Rolling fly through. You can see it spins up. Okay, so then it's out of frame. And this is the length of our timeline here. And so I'm going to fit to window with this button. And we're going to see, there it goes, nice. So this is the basic camera animation. We can change stuff in here like lighting and the area of where this is shaped. You see if I just select and drag, the lighting is changing. I can also do that here in the light setup, which they have this all these pre-made light swatches. And I can select them, drag them on. Like so, let's go ahead and select this. That's too dark. I'm going to go ahead and select this, or I can do it manually down here by selecting and dragging. So now I'm going to go to Material Setup, and this is where we go to the next stage to add these different presets for fonts they have and styles. So I'm going to select um, the silver one, drop it in there, and you can see we can still fit the window here and preview this, and you can see the shine on there. And I also want to go to a Material Swatch. I'm going to drag this, so then you can see that cool look right there. And you can change stuff like the reflectivity, transparency. There's a lot of neat stuff you can do. It's very customizable. You can keyframe stuff. It's, it's a really cool program. And so then what I can do is I'm going to go to OK. And when I hit OK, this video will turn. I have my caps lock on. This video will turn into the video we just saw, and then it ends. So I'm going to cut it right here. But you can see this. Now notice when I'm scrolling through, you're going to see these weird lines that looks like it's not completely rendered. And that's fine if you select this, go to your filters. Here's a rendering option, and right now it's on draft hardware. This means that it can play back easily in Final Cut Pro without a problem, but it's going to give you these you know, it's not going to have all the shadows and all the lighting in there. But if we go to final hardware, we'll see the final output. And when you export it, you for the best quality, you want it to be on software. So I'm going to go ahead, render this out. And I'm going to add a quick cross dissolve there. And nice. So when we play this after it's rendered out, you're going to see it looks really cool. 
And so that's just all within Final Cut. It's real 3D worked right in with that program, Pro Animator. So what I'm going to do now is just select this, or select the timeline, and I'm going to File Export QuickTime Conversion, and I'm just going to export it. Let's go export. So now it's exporting and it's going to be sweet because I'll use this as a video tag for this review. And if we find it here at the bottom, there it is. Look how clean that looks. It's really nice. So there's some great quality 3D text. I believe it's 425 on their website right now. You can check it out, zaxworks.com. And you can also look at the other stuff they've done, like a showcase. They've got some images and thumbnails of stuff they've done, SNL, CNBC, you know, Fox, all this stuff. It's really cool. And they also have video gallery of stuff they've done. You can check out the actual animated stuff. So this is really cool. Uh, check out their store and their pro animator would be up here under products. What's also great is if you get this, they have a lot of video tutorials showing you, I mean, everything. They have tons of tutorials here. So you can check them out, zaxworks.com. You guys take care. Zach King with FinalCutKing.com.